Quotes from, Watchman Nee. From the Kindle, Deep Christian Quotes in Bible Verses. First quote. Do not be taken in or flattered by your own success or fame. Take not only as to whether or not the old creation, including everything which comes by birth, has gone through the cross. Second quote. If you would test the character of anything, you only need to inquire whether the thing, leads you to God or away from God. Third quote. And it is through conflict, that God induces the believer to seek and to grasp total triumph in Christ. Fourth quote. How easily we make things as way, truth, and life. Or, we call hot atmosphere as life, we label clear thought as life. We consider strong emotion or outward conduct as life. In reality though, these are not life. We ought to realize that only the Lord is life. Christ is our life. And it is the Lord who lives out this life in us. Let us ask Him to deliver us from the many external and fragmentary affairs, that we may touch only Him. May we see the Lord in all things, way, truth, and life, are all found in knowing Him. May we really meet the Son of God and let Him live in us. Amen. Fifth quote. The idea of waste only comes into our Christianity, when we underestimate the worth of our Lord. Sixth quote. Separation to God, separation from the world, is the first principle of Christian living. Seventh quote. All we have ourselves to Him, and if that be all, that is enough. Eighth quote. Let us recognize this one thing, burden is the secret of prayer. If a person does not feel within him, burden to pray for a particular matter, he can hardly succeed in prayer. In a prayer meeting, some brothers and sisters may mention a great many subjects for prayer. But if you are not touched inwardly, you cannot pray. Ninth quote. Natural strength is what we receive from the hand of God as Creator. Spiritual strength is what we receive from God in grace. Tenth quote. A Christian ought to realize what the weights laid on his spirit are. If he encounters it in the morning and does not deal with it at once, he experiences defeat the whole day long. Eleventh quote. We should not open our mouths too hastily upon approaching God. On the contrary, we first must ask God to show us what, and how to pray, before we make our request known to Him. Have we not consumed a great deal of time in the past, asking for what we wanted? Why not now ask for what God wants? Twelfth quote. Often Satan injects pride into the believer's spirit, evoking in him an attitude of self-importance and of self-conceit. He causes him to esteem himself a very outstanding person one who is indispensable in God's work. Such a spirit constitutes one of the major reasons for the fall of believers. Thirteenth quote. We should try our best to pour out all the burdens in our spirit by prayer, until all of them have left us. Fourteenth quote. A Christian life is an unending engagement on the battlefield. Fifteenth quote. To keep our hand on the plow while wiping away our tears, that is Christianity. Sixteenth quote. Prayer is the acid test of the inner man's strength. A strong spirit is capable of praying much, and praying with all perseverance, until the answer comes. A weak one grows weary and faint-hearted in the maintenance of praying. Seventeenth quote. How true it is that without the guidance of the Holy Spirit intellect, not only is undependable, but also extremely dangerous, because it often confuses the issue of right and wrong. Thanks.